Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Um, I don't know if you've watched the previous video, but so far here we're exploring currently if Ethereum is changing trend from a downtrend that started in the middle of April back into an uptrend, yeah, from a wave two correction back into a th wave three. Unfortunately, Ethereum is weaker than Bitcoin. So here, more than Bitcoin, I would still anticipate another low. However, of course, we are now also, like Bitcoin, in the process of possibly changing trend because the low could have been made here. So what do we need to see? Uh, we need to see five waves up. Unfortunately, with this move to the upside that started on Thursday, Ethereum only showed us three waves. Yeah? It can count as a WXY structure which would be a wave four and will still sell off in a wave five. Confirmation that we are coming down will be obtained if price breaks and sustains below 1658, which is the bullish support. Then we have certainty, more certainty, that we're getting lower once more. But again, that one low could end the correction then. Yeah? That would be the expectation into the region around 1530, 1540. So it all comes down to the 1658 level. Now, it could also be, and that's when it would, you know, I'm, I'm only showing you that because Bitcoin has created an impulse. Ethereum hasn't, but Ethereum could also follow Bitcoin on the way up if Bitcoin manages to put in five waves up. Ethereum would then do that in a diagonal structure. That's why I added the trend lines here in a channel. I explained that in more detail in the previous video. Basically, this could be a wave one diagonal, a leading diagonal, not as reliable as an impulse. Again, Bitcoin made an impulse. Bitcoin pushed higher once more. This is a three wave move. So any further upside would only be possible in the context of a diagonal. Diagonals are always unreliable, difficult to trade. So Bitcoin would certainly be the more attractive one in the next few weeks, which is also matched by my analysis of the ETH BTC chart. If you're interested in that, check out my video about ETH BTC. Now, we have one bullish support level against which ETH can continue to climb higher, which is here, the 1658 level. Now, it doesn't need to come down that low, but at the moment, the expectation would be for it to go a little lower. See, I don't know if the trend line holds. I guess if we break the trend line, we have confirmation really that we go deeper in the wave two. Um, I wouldn't rule out that we come down lower. In fact, at the moment, I would expect it because also Bitcoin is due a pullback and then Ethereum will probably head down lower as well. Then on the ETH chart, it comes down to, okay, can we hold 1658? Because Bitcoin is currently outperforming Ethereum. If Bitcoin does a pullback of around 5%, Ethereum could also do a pullback of around 5% and may then make a new low, okay? So Bitcoin might hold a higher low, Ethereum a lower low. Explained that in the last video. Um... What is the subway structure of this possible wave two? So let's just label it as if we are here in a in a breakout. Um, because the, the thing is, the move down also looks corrective. The move up is corrective. The move down is corrective. So it at the moment would suggest that we are moving in this orange diagonal. But yeah, we need to see, right? Diagonals are always, they always need to prove themselves. You could make it simple and say, as long as we're holding above the bullish support, above the pivot, we focus on higher. That's 1658. Below that level, we're looking at 1530 to 1540. Yeah, but this is a corrective move here. So that's why I think, okay, we are not moving down in an impulse. So there's still a chance of holding that bullish support, even though Ethereum only rallied in a three wave move. Now, what would be a possible wave count for this current move here? So I would be looking at a wave W a wave X, probably here actually, and a Y wave to the downside. Let me just check that out. So um, I make that wide so you can see it better. Yeah, W, X, Y. Um, so one more load to come. Again, you know, corrections can morph easily. They can change easily. Uh, so I don't want to rule out that the wave two already finished here, but then it would need to prove that by breaking above the 1765 level, Primarily, I expect lower, first of all, because Bitcoin still has a bit of correction to do, in my opinion, and also because we didn't quite touch the 50% retracement level. That would be ideal for a wave two to touch at least the $60.99, $1,700 level. So if this is a WXY structure, how would the subwave structure look like? First of all, 
This here would be an ABC in wave W. Then we had an A wave. Actually, we'll label that just to show you. A wave here, yeah. Probably here a B wave and a C wave, some kind of a flat pattern in the X wave. Yeah, and now what could this be, right? It could also be another flat. Again, this is not a super confident count, but it is one that at least makes sense that we can follow A, B, C. Yeah, we could be in this C wave to the downside now, but it would need to follow through now. Yeah, that's just an idea. Obviously, alternatively, the wave two is already in, uh, but it's going to be very interesting now. It's just not as clear as on the Bitcoin chart. I would be pay. I would pay attention to the trend line, of course, as long as it's holding above the trend line. A moderate uptrend is ongoing. Break of the trend line will send us into the region between 1699 and 1658. And 1658 is the pivot between, okay, we can go higher in the orange wave count or we go lower to around 1530 to 1540. Okay, that's my update about ETH. I hope you will like the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.